So in this session we are going to discuss about polls. Polls are very useful when you want to collect information about certain topics from different users. Okay, you want to understand their opinion. So let's see how we can do that in LifeRay. So first thing you need to log in. So I'm just going to log into this website. And then from the menu you need to go to content and data and go to polls. And in the polls you can click on add poll. And then here you can add the title. So for example, let's say this uh, poll is about taking course duration opinion. So let's call it course duration opinion. And in the poll question, you can ask the question. So for example, let's say we want to know, do people like long courses or short courses? So let's call it, do you like short courses or long courses? courses okay so this is our question and in this we can decide how long how long this poll is going to be active so if you want this poll to be active forever so in that case you can select never expire but usually you want polls to be running probably for few days in that case you can just uncheck this never expire and select the expiration date so in this case let's say i want this poll to be running until 12th of july Okay, so we can select that and also we can select the time on which we want this poll to be expiring. And then we have an option of adding different choices. So let's say we want to give user the ability to select one of the available choices. So in this case, let's call it crash courses and let's keep option B as comprehensive courses. And let's say we want to add one more choice so you can click on add choice and then you are going to get an option of adding one more choice so I'm just going to call it both if you want to delete any of these option you can click here on delete and it will get deleted and again in the permission you can define whether you want anonymous user uh, giving the ability to be able to vote or not so in this case let's say we want anonymous user also to have the ability to be able to vote so we can click on more options and then we can see on the guest we don't have option of adding vote so we can click on add vote and then anonymous user will be able to add vote okay so that's it now we can click on save and we have our first poll ready now this, if you click here on this poll, you see this option is available. You don't see any statistics right now, but once user starts filling the information, you will be seeing the option of results. So let's see how that is going to work. So I'm going to go to this website again, and then first we need to add that poll to one of our web page. So let's say we have this promotional page and here I'm going to add the poll which we have created so we can click on edit and then we need to go to widgets and here we need to search for poll and basically polls are part of content management so you can go under content management and find this or you can just search it here and then drag and drop this polls display to the area where you want polls to appear so in this case I have dragged and drop it here and now you can just click on widget again so this you don't no longer see this option now click on this area and then you can see these dots available by clicking on this you will get an option of configuration so here you can configure it and you can select the poll which you have just uh, created if you have multiple uh, polls you can see all of those polls available here so you can select the poll which you want to see then click on save and now that poll is going to be shown here okay so again we need to refresh this page so first I'm going to publish this and once we publish this is also going to get refreshed so now you see we have this poll available here so let's say we are filling this information as a IT Panther user because right now I'm logged in as admin IT Panther user and I select option a and i click on vote now you can see the results as well so right now we have only one person who is voting so that's why you see 100 percent and now let's log out and see how it is going to look like as an guest user 
so I'm going to sign out and let's refresh this page so right now you see we we are not able to uh, see this option to vote that is because uh, there are cookies okay which gets created when you have polls and that's why this option is you know you don't see that option because uh, cookies already know that you have already voted okay once so in this case what we can do is either you can uh, create cookies so you can go to a uh, settings and then you can go to go on and clear the cookies or the other thing you can do is you can probably open this on any other browser so in this case let's say I'm just going to clear the cookies by clicking on clear cookies from last one hour and click on clear data and it is going to clear these cookies and now if we refresh this we should be able to see an option to vote okay now you can see we are not signed in and we also have an option of voting so let's say in this case we want to select comprehensive course and we click on vote now end user can also see the results here and also as an admin let's say we want to log in and we want to see what is the stats available now so now again to see the report you need to go to menu and you need to go to polls under content and data and now you can select the polls for which you want to see the result so still loading so now we i can click on the course title and under the course title now i can see this is the result which is available and also if i want this result in uh, some cart some kind of charts so i can click on horizontal bar to see this result in in horizontal bar graph or if i want in a pie chart i can do that as well okay so these are some of the options available along with a poll 